Guy Pacha with the weekly Pele report. Yeah! <laughs> we have freaking made it to April 26th of 2017. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's uh, take a little walk in the park. <laughs> Relax. Mellow out a little bit. Oh my goodness. The new moon in Taurus. Fixed Earth. Gaia, ruled by Aphrodite, Venus, yeah, taking care of things, relaxing in our sensuous, physical, beautiful, natural world, setting the tone for the whole next month. And of course, we can look at some of the other factors that are involved with that, but let me give you some more of these aspects, yeah? Despite the new beginning <laughs> and the new moon, we still have Saturn square Chiron. I'm doing a whole video on that for the community because it's like super powerful. The research I'm doing is absolutely amazing, tying us back to the 60s and freaking war and peace and God and no God and oh my God, like everything else. But that is going on like all year, but it's like really intense there at the same degree right now. Saturn is still conjunct the galactic center. Uh-oh. Two roads diverged in the yellow wood. And be one traveler long I stood, looking down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had warned them really about the same. <laughs> I could go on, but let's, this is an astrology report. Oh God, here's another fork in the road. Uh, I've never been here before, so I don't know where I'm going. But uh, such is life, eh? Should we go up there? No way, I'm not gonna climb while I'm talking. Okay, so. Mercury is conjunct Uranus. It is still retrograde, ladies and gentlemen. And I got to say, I want to talk about Eris in particular in this report because Mercury passed by Eris, the goddess of discord. Okay, last March 26th. And then said, oops, uh, there ha I forgot something. There has not been enough discord. There has not been enough problems. Okay, I'm going back. Hey, let's just do, let's do a little retrograde thing here. Yeah, I am going back to visit Eris again. So Mercury is going to go retrograde until next Wednesday, a week from today, one more week of retrograde Mercury, going back to Uranus and Eris into more discord, okay, more challenge, particularly around conversation now that Mars is in Gemini, in opposition to Black Moon Lilith, who is also okay, associated and tied directly in with Eris, okay, another shadow goddess, the powerful dark feminine forces, yes, emerging up and rectifying, okay, the light masculine patriarchal crap that's been going down, but anyway. So, yes, Mercury conjunct Uranus and Eris all week, okay, sitting there next weekend. Besides that, we have like this new moon, you know, tomorrow, Thursday, actually, you know, she moves into Gemini. By Saturday, she moves into Cancer. And by Monday, she moves into Leo. So, you know, I'd say that is, you know, that's the real biggie. Um, I'd say the big saving grace here, well, there's a couple of things. Number one is Venus is Friday coming out of Pisces, which will pull her away from that square to Saturn, okay, that we've, you know, kind of been feeling a little forlorn uh, these lately days with, uh, you know, that Venus Chiron conjunct Saturn I've been talking about. She's going to start lightening up. 
she is going direct, okay? Uh, you can see her in the morning sky, and she is moving back into Aries and ready to get charging and get going. So, you know, that has to do with the whole, you know, um, mantra, you know, that I did for today, right? The light at the end of the tunnel. All right, well, anyway, let me just uh, find a nice place. There's a lot of nice places around here to sit and look at the camera and talk at you about all this stuff, okay? Ciao. Okay, everybody. Let's get heavy today. Sometimes, you know, Earth is heavy. A new moon in Taurus is heavy. <laughs> this can be a heavy time. And, and like I said before, I said it last week, the rest of this month is still, we're kind of in this heavy space, this heavy place. It's really gone on, I think, since uh, the end of March, right? You know, when Mercury came around to Eris and Uranus. And we know that we've got this whole thing. I've been talking about Jupiter opposite Uranus. It's also been opposite Eris. Eris goes around every 560 years, okay? It is very, very, very slow, okay? So Jupiter is also opposing Okay, this Eris energy, and that's been going on since last November, December. And, you know, Saturn is trying this Uranus Eris. So let's talk about Eris. Eris goes, like I said, right along with Black Moon Lilith. Eris was born of Nyx, the night sky, which symbolizes the void out of which everything emerges and everything returns. And this night balances the day. This is the yin and the yang. And when we have Uranus coming around to Eris, okay, Uranus is lightning, illumination, okay, revelation. This is the year of revelation. Partially, you know, I got that from Uranus, Eris, with Jupiter opposite. And it's going to be our relationships and our partnerships and our enemies. <clears throat> that bring up and bring forward, okay, self-knowledge, self-revelation. So anyway, Eris, born out of the night sky, comes out of the void, and she gives birth. She is a mother. Guess what she gives birth to? Are you ready? I got to read this because it's too, mu too much to remember. She gives birth to strife, toil, forgetfulness, Starvation, pain, battle, murder, manslaughter, quarrel, lies, dispute, lawlessness, ruin, and lastly, her youngest child is oath. <laughs> and the quote from the book is oath who does more damage than any other to earthly men when anyone of his knowledge swears to a false oath. We could say, okay, that this strife, pain, all of this right, is being brought up. Uranus comes around, pew, yeah, and, you know, shines the light on it and, and opens up, okay, and we have bombs dropping and wars starting and all kinds of crap going on, people arguing and disputing, Jupiter moving through Libra, the sign of open enemies, okay, and Jupiter expands big, the other, but Jupiter is also our teacher, so we are learning through our enemies as well as our lovers and partners, okay? And it's just, to me, it's just like, you know what? This is karma, 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 karma. <laughs> yeah? If we lie, if we swear a false oath, if we do not stand in our truth and be a witness for truth and of truth, and we fall into lawlessness or murder or strife or any of this other, we cause pain or whatever, guess what? You know, this is a time of reckoning. Eris is going to come along and create discord. And what is discord? 
Discord is none other than what I'm thinking of is I think if there's a mouse in the house or down here in Costa Rica, there's a lot of huge cockroaches, you know? And what do they do, you know? They run and hide. And it's like, you know what? We try to hide, okay, the cockroach in all of us. <laughs> Whether we're guilty of something, or we're ashamed of something, or we did something bad or wrong, or we hid something, we try to keep it hidden and not let people see. We don't want to tarnish our reputation. We want people to love us and like us and pay us and support us and honor us. So it's like, you know what? Hide that cockroach, man. You know that little bad thing I did or that little lie that I did or that other person that I slept with or that other whatever, you know, it's just like hide this stuff. Yeah, that little money that I took or whatever. So, and what happens, man? Uranus comes around to Eris and Jupiter, you know, comes around into that seventh house. And Lilith and Saturn both come into Sagittarius. Yes, the archer with a bullseye on truth. Saturn sitting on the galactic center, the source, okay, of cosmic intelligent order coming in. Saturn is the lord of karma and it's trining Eris and Uranus, okay, this whole year. So this is a year and what's happening? Dr. Greer is bringing forth the Disclosure Project, you know, exposing Okay, all the black operations and all of the, you know, secrets that have been held. And WikiLeaks is coming forward. And what does wars do? You know, it's like wars bring out, okay, you know, the worst in people or the, you know, it's just like, this is a time that strife and discord, even if it's down to an argument at the dinner table with your sweetheart, okay, Discord brings up, okay, the lack of trust, the doubt. We've got this new moon happening in Taurus. Taurus is I, me, my, my survival, yeah, my self-importance, my money, my resources. I am going to protect yeah, and I am going to gather together my stuff. I'm going to look after myself. So this is a time where everybody is kind of like looking after themselves. And there can be this kind of like, you know. And there can be a breakdown in trust. And, and this breakdown in trust is, well, you better prove yourself. Okay, and you better prove that you're lying, you know, that you're telling the truth. <laughs> prove to me that you're not lying, right? Just the facts. Show me the spreadsheet. Show me the results. Show me the money. Show me the, you know, uh, show me the tangible, you know. It's like the doubting Thomas, right? He wanted to stick his finger, you know, in the wound of Christ before he believed that Christ reappeared to the apostles. This is a doubting time, and we start doubting each other and we start doubting ourselves and then we get into these games and these arguments and this discord and who's right and who's wrong and who's got the truth and who's lying and it's just like ah! and it's all this discord but it is it's like flushing out the cockroach with the flashlight <laughs> you know or you know chasing the cockroach it's like you know what uh, we are getting down to it you know, and some people are going to, you know, take a shoe and smash that cockroach. Other people are going to scoop up that cockroach and very gently put it outside because they don't want to hurt anything. But one way or the other, okay, we're talking about exposing reality. The end of illusion, the end of lies, the end of deception. This is what this year is about. And it's not always a pretty picture. <laughs> it takes some irritation, you know, it takes some argument or it takes some confrontation, okay, in order to really get down to the blood and guts of what you really want, what you're really after, and is it about the relationship or is it about yourself? And this is what, you know, this is what I'm really talking about in the mantra, 
you'll notice in this mantra, usually, these mantras are about I. Because I repeat this self to myself. I work on myself, right? And it's, you know, my inner work, you know, creates, you know, abundance in my reality or whatever. But this one is about we. Okay, this is important. Jupiter is in Libra, okay? You know, and, and you know, this is about coming out into, okay, you know, Venus is emerging out of Pisces. And Mars is moving into Gemini. Conversation, talk, Gemini, throat chakra. Yeah, it's just like, you know, we need to like create and we need to come together with and through each other as mirrors of our unconscious. We get in touch with our shadow through the other. Speaking of other, I hear some others coming right now. This is going to be weird. <laughs> I hate it when people bomb the Pele report, man. So anyway, maybe I've said enough. You get enough to think about. You know, this week, so this week is a time. As hard as it may be, as difficult, as much as your, you know, your heart can be, you know, uh, it's like, oh, they're confronting me, or oh, I'm getting attacked, or oh, there's discord, and I just want to, like, escape, or sleep, or, you know, not answer that, you know, email, or WhatsApp, or, you know, whatever, you know, it's just like, I want to, like, ah. I encourage you, come to the table, you know, work with the strife and the pain and the discord because the basis in one way you know the basis the foundation of peace and harmony is truth if we are not in our truth and we are not sharing our truth and people don't understand us because they don't know our truth then there is this espionage and hiding and secrets and doubt and, you know, and there cannot be peace. And we cannot sleep, okay? And we cannot, you know, stop thinking or worrying, yeah? So the foundation of peace and harmony is truth. And this is the light that is at the end of the tunnel. So the mantra for this week is, yes? There is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's there for all to see. Calling us all together from discord into harmony. So we are different. We are distinct. This is the age of Aquarius. Differentiation, individuation, and as diverse as we are, as many different personal truths as we have, we can have unity within that envelope, as long as that envelope is big enough, forgiving enough, compassionate enough, and loving enough to accept all the diverse truths and all the diverse realities without blaming and wanting to control and wanting to limit or wanting to, you know, have my way over the other way. This is where we're really moving into this North Node in Leo, where we need to co-create win-win situations and win-win relationships. And it is really possible, but it really requires creativity, cooperation, and compromise. And this is what really is Jupiter in Libra. And he's going to stay there until October to help us get it together. <laughs> I'm going to post, okay, last week I think I posted something. This week I'm going to post a book on Eris by Laura Walker. Uh, she's amazing. Uh, she is the oraclereport.com. She's got a book on Black Moon Lilith and a book on uh, Eris. They're both free. And, uh, you know, uh, she wants them distributed, so I'm going to, you know, uh, help out in that way. And I haven't even read the whole thing myself, but I like Laura. <laughs> so, that's good enough for today. I wish you the best. Come out of discord. Don't avoid discord or stuff it or suppress it, okay? But, like, invite 
discord in knowing that like the augmented seventh chord which is like discord can resolve itself into a major C. <laughs> yeah. And that's what makes Beethoven Beethoven, man, is going from discord into harmony, back into discord, back into harmony. But I mean, come on, man. We live in a world of duality. It's polarized down here. The farther you go into discord, guess what? The farther you go into harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste. Aloha. Take it easy, man. Don't forget to breathe.